Hello guys, this is Sharun here from 24-7 Techie and you guys just now saw the booting process of the Yo Eureka to Android 5.1.1 Bliss Pop ROM as you can see it clearly so guys, this I have been using this ROM for a couple of days it has been performing really good it is performing better than the stock Android uh, ROM that it comes with the stock CM12 ROM and uh, you also saw the booting process that wasn't really long I just now reflashed it so that I can show you guys the stock uh, user usage of this ROM so guys this is running Android 5.1.1 and uh, sign engine sign engine has added a neat cool feature which uh, which is a task manager so if we slide down the status bar and if you press on this button there will be a task manager open and it is really easy to clear all the tasks I have used it a lot of times and it really works fine and if we dive into the settings and uh, the interface and the customization that uh, the ROM offers which you guys are really interested in I will show you that uh, right now so guys as you can see it is uh, having the options of customizing each and every animation of uh, each and every aspect of the mobile as you can see, I have just it has just now booted up, so it's on default. We can use anything, and it works really fine. I have used it. Heads up notification is also working. All the usual stuff in this also is the present. So lock screen options are also weather is also weather can also be added. As you can see, the weather can have, can be added. We can even customize the weather color and everything. And now we'll go navigation buttons. This is the usual stuff. And we'll go to navigation bar in which we can switch on the on screen buttons and even edit them. As you can see, this is the new style of uh, editing the buttons. And we can add also a lot of buttons uh, of whatever we like. Like I, I like this notification a lot. So I, I am tending I like I like to add that. It's easy it's also easy to customize the buttons as we can as you can see in the settings also. Gesture everywhere is also supported. I'm not really a big fan of it but for those who like it it's good. I've not installed any Google apps except for Google Play Store. So when we download it we have the option of customizing each and everything slim by is also supported so it will be triggered from the left border like this as you see it is really helpful like it has a lot of options so after, nav after navigation we will go to notification drawer and notification drawer can also be edited and mainly the usual stuff but working pretty fine that's really important. I've noticed that uh, this uh, animation is not working in this ROM right now. I think in future updates it will be fixed but the uh, Android 5.1 animation for this is not working. And for the torch also the notification draws animations are not working. Power menu also can be edited. Recent options we can add a memory bar. So as you can see the ROM free RAM. As you can see the RAM free in the so It is customizable but uh, <clears throat> but more than customization it is pretty stable it is pretty uh, fast and fluid smooth working fine overheating issues have been fixed it has just now booted up and we have not put it on sleep or anything and it is at uh, okay temperatures not very hot not not very not even a little bit so that's really working fine <clears throat> All the themes are supported. It's running on Android. It's running on Android 12.1, and it's working pretty fine, as you can see it clearly. So it is supported by nightly updates, so, which is nice. And all the bugs will be fixed fixed soon if you find any. And uh, in performance also, they have also given us a kernel auditor, which is really great because we can edit whatever we want into the settings. That's really good so you can edit anything if you are not a heavy user you can clock down your CPU or GPU if you are a heavy user you can overclock it a little bit and this is the new style of uh, notification uh, this is the new style of app draw that uh, that that the sun engine is using from now looks really good 
and all in all the ROM has been pretty stable it has been working fine I have used it for a couple of days two to three days and uh, it was the battery life was decent better than the stock CM12.12 S that was uh, offered in uh, Eureka so it is better and the heating issues have been fixed a lot have been going around this so guys this was my quick uh, quick overview video regarding regarding the bliss pop rom on eureka uh, the rom is pretty stable and it is a must try for eureka people uh, for the for the installation of uh, this rom you would be needing you would be needing two things uh, in your mobile that will that would be a unlock bootloader and a custom recovery i will be leaving a link to a xda thread which uh, from where you can download a toolbox and just connect your phone all the step by step in instructions are there in the thread just follow them it's really very easy it's just a couple of minutes work so it is really very easy just follow the instructions and it will be done easily after after custom recovery is installed may, do make a backup and then flash everything uh, i will i will be leaving the links of all I will be leaving all the required links in the description below as always so don't forget to check them out and uh, thank you guys for watching this video this was Sharon here from 24 7 techie if you like this video hit the like button if you didn't like it do leave us a feedback do subscribe to the channel and help us a little also and if you have any requests or comments or any feedbacks you can contact us directly through our facebook twitter anything and we will surely get back to you i will be leaving all the links in the description thank you guys for watching this video see you next time see ya